Saunders whistling on. Tred Rosenthal back to serve the freshman setting sensation right out of Manhattan Beach. Starts it off with a spin, goes cross court to flex and Sheward goes out to Hanno right away. And Guillerme Voss and Alakai Todd say no thank you. That's a big, big block. Voss is such a great blocker. And then uh, Alakai Todd is si they're both 6'8 out there. Yeah, they list Rosenthal at 6'8, but I feel like he's a little bigger than that as a yeah, center. He looks bigger, <laughs> bigger than Voss. So we've got 1-0 to start it off after the double stub by Voss and Todd. Another cross-court surpass by Flex and in the middles. Gregoriev, and there's a net violation on Voss. Point going to UC Irvine. He had no argument there. <laughs> no. That brings Max Gregoriev back to serve for the Anteaters. Gregoriev, 39 aces on the season, a great offensive and defensive player. He's so so versatile, so well-rounded. Tough serve, pass by Choi way off net. Rosenthal goes back over to Sakonoko. Dug by Gregoriev, Sheward shoots it out to Hanno. Hanno bangs it off the block of Sakonoko and a Voss that ricochets into the net. Well, that's what Hanno does. He changes the tempo on his spikes. That time he got up slowly, but hit it very quickly, caught the block before it was over, went off Voss into the net and almost hit Voss on the way out. Two serving one, there was a second opportunity off that net play as Gregoriev goes cross court to Sakonuko, bumps it out to Todd, Todd swings high, dug by Gregoriev, bumps it by Hanno, Darcy off the block, Choi gets it thin on the handset, free ball by Todd, stepping in is Gregoriev, Sheward shoots back to Darcy, just sets it over, picked it by Thim, Rosenthal looks back over to Sakonoku. He's blocked at the net, covered by Hawaii. Todd goes through the uprights of Campbell. Point going to Hawaii. Todd is a, is a great story. He's He's been with the program. This is his sixth year. He's battled, battled, has never really stopped, stepped into the uh, spotlight. Now he is the guy. He's their leading hitter, has leading attempts, plays on the right side and gets lots of sets. Two serving at two, that brings the Frenchman Louis Sakonuko back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. Ball's passed by Hanno. Set in the middle and Connor Campbell on the jump and thump. We're gonna get some interesting matchups here with Sakonuko and Hilaire Hino, who are teammates on the French, French national team. So far, they've both served each other and have gone after each other. I personally like them talking uh, jabber across the net in yeah, French. It's not jabber, it's called French. <laughs> On the quick back attack is Guillerme Voss, the 6'8 senior middle blocker from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. That was a good, uh, Irvine is, is, is committed to stopping Voss in the middle. They like to set him a lot now that Hawkins is out of the lineup. Voss, again, he's a 6'7 senior middle. Hits a little hybrid towards Flexen. Sheward goes back to Hanno. Hanno rolls it over the block, and Voss made a valiant effort, but I'll let Charlie comment on that. Well, when the middle blocker, <laughs> when the middle blocker is serving, he's got to go play defense somewhere. And Hilaire Hanno found him, tipped it right in front of back left. That brings Hilaire Hanno back to serve, having a phenomenal season for the Anteaters offensively and defensively, hitting 476. Goes cross court pass by Sakanuko. Back set by Rosenthal. Todd tips it by the block. Pancake by Power. Swinging away his hand out. He sends fire in the hole between Neuster and Thim. That's a, that's a nice pickup by Cole Power. Stretch out, great set. And Hino just found the hole in the block. Serving pancakes in the brand, courtesy of Cole Power. And the sauce from Halir Hino out of that middle back position. There was a seam in the block. He saw the seam hit right between them. 5-3, Irvine leads. Hanno cross court off of his Frenchman teammate, Sakonoko. Free ball by Todd, hand pass by Power Sheward to Hanno on the 40, and he plays pinball off the block, but there's a net violation by the Rainbow Warriors, 6-7-3. It's a great get by Rosenthal. He got the ball. He's going to have to hit Tom Saunders, the up referee. Caught it before it got there, kept it in play. You see former Hawaii Libro national champion, two-time national champion, Brett Sheward on screen there, running the offense for UC Irvine. Doing a great job, first in the nation. And Hanno cracks assist. it, this one long, point. Souvenir in the stands, point going to Hawaii. That had a lot of heat on, it's too bad we don't have radar guns in here, because that had a little more heat than normal. Yeah, he's, he's slowly getting that tempo back up to what he had last year. 
Alakai Todd steps back to serve for Hawaii. Todd on the season is hitting a 3.18 kills per set and a 348 hitting percentage. Ball's passed off the net. Sheward shoots it out to Flexen. Flexen up and over the block and out of play. We're going to have our first challenge, but our lines official on the Irvine side calling the touch, and Tom Saunders agrees with a call. Point going to UC Irvine. Score's got to change. I believe it's going to be 7 4. No challenge on the Hawaii side. So uh, that brings Connor Campbell back to serve. Ball's passed by Choi. Rosenthal high ball to Thim. Triple block up. Ball's dug by Campbell. Sheward looks, shoots it out to Flexen. Flexen with the extreme angle, knocking Charlie's head off. <laughs> he almost, almost knocked me out of my chair, but I had him all the way. C-Mac, I need an analyst. <laughs> <laughs> C-Mac's the best. He does the best job of any of us. Eight serving to four, Irvine up here early in set number one. Hybrid hand pass by Sakunuko. Outside to Thib, he's blocked, covered by Choi. Th to Rosenthal, right side to Todd. Todd sending fire in the hole between Gregoriev and Flexen. It's a nice swing out of the back row. Found, that, you know, he was up, and the block was up early, so he held it a little bit, changed the tempo, and got the block on the way down. The Punahou grab from Kailua, Oahu, Hawaii, sends at 6-9, hits a heavy ball. Yeah. That brings Keone Thim back to serve. Five looking at eight. Ball's passed by Hanno. Sheward goes back to Darcy. Darcy off the block and too much distance off the block for Hawaii to get it. That's a nice shot by Darcy. Find that high hand and hit it up into the block, so hit it over the, the back row defense. Pretty Dar much unplayable. Darcy, good swing off the block, steps back to the service line, up 9-5, little soft jump serve, perfect pass by Choi, shoots the nooster, dug by Heno. Sheward goes outside, flexing, flexing, off of a Choi, saved by Thim, set left side, Sakonuka looks, rolls it, and he's somehow sneaks it by the block at Gregoriev, smart play by Sakonuko. That was, a, <laughs> that was a very smart, take a little bit off of it, let it roll in there. Over the shoulder, looks and somehow finds that seam between the block. Again, changing the tempo, changing how fast the ball gets to the block will determine if, it's, if it drops like that or doesn't. Kurt Neustra now back to serve the 6-9 redshirt sophomore middle from Indianapolis, Indiana. Tough serve picked up by Flexen, set by power out to Flexen. Flexen high ball dug by them. Neustra back set to Sakunuko, who's denied, covered by Voss. Trap, Rosenthal pokes it through, saved by Sheard, bumps it by power. Left side, Flexen, Flexen drills the pill, and we got a thriller happening. That ball's over the block and down. That, that is the perfect shot. Even if it hits the hands, it's going to go off the block and out of bounds somewhere. Perfect shot by, by Nolan Flexen. 10 serving a six and a Flexen chopping it down the line as he now steps back to serve for the Anteaters. Flexen, the 6-9 outside hitter from Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Sakanuko drills it off the end line. How quick did he get up off that pass, Charlie? Made the pass, <laughs> fell to his knees, got up, and then quickly exploded. And that arm swing is, is even faster than the, the quickness of the jump. Seven looking at ten. Uh, Rosenthal back to the service line. The 6'8 freshman setter from Miracosta High School up the freeway. Power on the pass. Grigoriev blasting a high and hard off the block of Voss. You know, they're, they've, Irvine's done something a little different with their middle attack. They lob it just a little bit, giving the hitter time. Watch, watch uh, Gregorov, he's up there. He gets a chance to see what the block's doing and then find the, the right position. Gregorov steps back to the service line. 11, serving a seven. Little hybrid hand pass by Saganuko. In the middle, Voss off the block of Campbell. Picked up by Flexen. Sheward looks, shoots in the middle. Campbell and off the block of, actually the head of Voss. He saw him motion to his head. Voss is, jumps too high. <laughs> I wish I had that problem, Charlie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I can maybe clear the tennis net. <laughs> 12 serving to seven for Campbell on the evening. That's his first kill as Gregoriev sends that one into the net. Yeah, this is the thing, Charlie. We've got headphones on. We've got loud crowd behind us. You can still how, hear how hard the ball is being hit. Yeah, both teams. Luis Sakunuko back to serve for Hawaii. Sakunuko from Paris, France, stands at 
but definitely plays a lot bigger than that. Sakunuko drills it long and uh, by a couple feet, but he's going for that rip on the uh, grip and rip. Yeah, he's got he's got some velocity on that. That brings Brett Sheard back to serve for UC Irvine. Sheard, a familiar name in the Rainbow Warriors circles. Ball's passed by Sakunoko. Rosenthal to Voss, and Voss goes on the twisted wrister on the putaway. Well, that was a nice set by Rosenthal. You know, you got a 6'9 six, six, guy setting a 6'8 guy, and they're playing, it was way above the block. He got off the outside hand. Got through there before uh, Campbell could get his hands over. With that, they bring Kevin calling in for serving purposes, a 6'7 graduate student setter from Naperville, transfer from Lewis University. Steps in, a high toss, goes down the line over towards Power. Sheward outside to Darcy, and he drills it off the block of Neusterer. That's, um, yeah, the, with, with Flexit in the lineup now, Rob, and you've got Darcy and Hino, you've got three real tall, high, big jumping uh, pin hitters. Darcy standing at 6'10", the sophomore opposite hitter from Brisbane, Queensland, Australia, as Hanno hits that one long towards his uh, French teammate. Are they just gunning for each other tonight or what? Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> that brings Alakai Todd back I, to serve. I said something the other day to Hanno about uh, uh, Louis, and he goes, yeah, we're, we're in the, serving, the French serving academy. <laughs> 10 serving to 14. Todd goes off the cable, pass by Power. Sheward in the middle. Campbell's blocked by Neuster, covered by Darcy. Darcy gets the give and go. Picked up by Choi. Off ball. Rosenthal out the thim. Thim drills it through the huge seam between Darcy and Campbell. Darcy never took a look at the hitter. He was watching the ball the whole way. So Thim just beat him to the, to the spot. Keone Thim is a remarkable athlete. He's got fast feet and can fly. Gets up very quickly, he has a great, great arm. 11 serving to 14, Todd delivers again, cross court to Heno. Sheward looks, shoots out to the flex and flexing off the block, dug by Sakanuko. Rosenthal outside to Thim, Thim goes off the block, long distance, tool off a Campbell, and Thim is fired up. Thim can do that, he's just so explosive. He gets up and just swings high off the hands, and he's so explosive. And with that, Coach David Niffen says, oh, let's slow that run down as we go into our first timeout. Don't go away. We've got more NCAA men's volleyball. Welcome back to the University of California, Irvine. You're looking at head coach David Niffen, whose Anteaters lead the fourth-ranked Hawaii Rainbow Warriors 14-12, but we're only in set number one. And if anyone who's familiar with men's volleyball, particularly the Big West, that means nothing. <laughs> We've got a great showdown between two phenomenal teams three of the top five teams in the nation. Well, Coach Niffin before the match said this is going to be an offensive battle, and it's true to form. Hawaii's hitting mid-400s. Uh, Irvine's hitting mid-500s. Alakai Todd continues to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. A little spin serve over towards Flexen. Sheward outside to Flexen. Flexen up and over the block for the put away. And Flexen, that was all reach that got over the block, and we've got a substitution. I mean... He can do that. Look, look at his arms. His arms are so long. Look at his, how, how long his arms. He gets up fast, and he just hits right up and over the top of the block. Checking in for the first time is serving specialist Connor Dom for Connor Campbell. Irvine up 15-12. Hawaii thought it was going to be a media timeout, so they came back yeah, to the bench. We, yeah, as we know, the media timeout isn't called if one or the other team have called a timeout before that. She got 15-12, Dom looks, goes cross court towards Troy, overpass, and Gregoriev tips it, picked up by Neusterer. Rosenthal goes back against the grain to Todd, and he bangs it off of Dom. Dom just got sniped shoulder high. A great swing by Alakai. Hits the ball down the line. You've got, I really believe you've got to take the line. Let's let, let him hit cross court, take the cross court. 13 serving to 15. Keone Thim serves back to serve for Hawaii. Thim for the Rainbow Warriors. 33 aces on the season. Ball's passed by Power. Sheward back to Darcy. Darcy taking it downtown on the pound. Great set by Brett Sheward. He held the block going up. Made it look like he's going to set the quick. Then a real quick back 
set to Darcy. Darcy one on one was able to hit the ball inside cross court and down. 16 serving at 13. Darcy serving it up goes off the cable. Dirty ace no, but instead Gregorev takes out the trash on the one timer. <laughs> Gregorev got on the last overpass. Gregorev tried to you know tip it over, be funny with it, didn't score. So he comes back this time and just goes, I'm going to rip this thing. That was a big, nasty, <laughs> yep. a palm bomb winner. Point Irvine, 17-13. Darcy to Choi, Rosenthal to Sakunuko. He's denied, covered by Neuster, saved by Choi. Sakunuko loops, Rosenthal off the block, knocked down by Krakoyev, head dug by Sakunuko, wipes it off the block, Hanno style. Very, very, very smart hit. Three blockers up and blocked twice. Finds that pressure and throws it out of bounds. But Sakonoko took it off his head because his arms are down below his waist. Yeah, well, he, he <laughs> took the ball in front. Again, if you're watching, then you turn your hands on the outside. So often you get caught watching the ball. That was his Mbappe impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting started, Rob. <laughs> 14 serving to 17. Kurt Neustra back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. Neustra on the night has a dig and a block assist. Good pass by the end eaters, flex and high, hard, and distantly away from the end line. It's again, just high, finds the outside hand. Uh oh, looks like found Voss's hand. Voss came back rubbing and holding his hand. Flex and with a levitation, finding all three blockers. 18 serving to 14, flex and back to serve. Flexen winds up and misses that one long. You can see right off the contact from the serve, that was yeah, not he, a good he serve. Jumped, he jumped too early. It's actually on the way down when he made contact. That brings Chet Rosenthal back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. Rosenthal, eight assists on the evening so far. Rosenthal has been a very pleasant surprise for the Rainbow Warriors. Freshman of the week, 10 of the 13 times that has gone to Hawaii, I believe, if I remember the stats right. Sakonoko challenges the block, dug by power. Flexen looks, free ball by Hanno. Voss on the free ball pass. Rosenthal sets out to Sakonoko. Solo block by Sheward. Sheward, a correction. Rosenthal gets it over, picked up by Gregorio. Gregorio tips it down on the nasty picnic play. Boy, that was, that was some good volleyball, Rob. <laughs> Both teams making really alert, one-arm control digs, keeping that rally going. That's what you do when you're playing short court, is just any kind of dig to stick a paw out. <laughs> well, and hit it away from people, and then to be able to react when the ball's hit away from you and control it with one hand, bring it back into a play. Um, both teams, you know, really, really alert defense. And Max Chagoyev, such an athletic middle blocker, only listed at 6'4", able to get those multiple jumps in that same rally. We've talked, talked about this before. He's played, played middle most of the season, but he also <laughs> played opposite early in the season. And I remember going up to USC, watching him hit outside for, for Irvine. He's played <laughs> all three spots, and in his club program, he actually set. <laughs> well, that, that makes tells sense. you what an all-around great athlete and volleyball player he is. Boy, he's a shoving Sheward out of the way to get a, some second balls there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he can do it. So, well, if you're looking at the stats and following on UC Irvine hitting a scorching 607, Hawaii hitting 385, leading the way for UC Irvine. Nolan Flexen five kills, zero errors, hitting 625. Yeah, he's he's. Uh, He's doing a great job hitting high. They got two blockers in front of him all the time. He's, he's just attacking the high block and hitting it beyond the deep, the back line. Well, it seems like as we've been seeing on the replay, Hawaii is throwing all three blockers every ball now on Flexen. Yeah, yeah, they, it, it, they'll do the same thing with Darcy and the same thing with, with uh, Hanno if they can. You're looking at Nolan Flexen there and uh, talking to his center, Brett Schuert. Said, so give, give it to me. Yeah, interesting. There's no blocks for Irvine and only one block for uh, for Hawaii so far. Out of the timeout, it's 19 serving at 15. Both teams have taken a timeout here in set number one. Max Gregoria back to the service line, the 6'4 sophomore middle from Walnut Creek, California. Ball's passed by Sakonuko. Rose is all back to Sakonuko, and he hits it off of his French teammate, Alir Hanno. And Hanno knows he had him. <laughs> okay. Well, I know. I've said this before, but Hino got caught watching the ball also. <laughs> Instead of tur turning and looking right at Sakonoko. Sakonoko back to serve for Hawaii, 16, serving 19. 
Sakonuko on the evening. Four kills, zero errors off of 11 swings, hitting 364. Hanno goes to the right hand and knocks it off of Rosenthal. That's just not fair that he can go to both hands like that. <laughs> yeah, I told you, he developed it uh, this last fall. His left wrist was, was hurt, so they had to tape it. He was not allowed, if he played, to hit with his left hand. So he just learned how to hit right-handed. 2016, short back to serve, goes cross court over to Sakanoko, tight pass, and blocking off the head of Hanno, is Hanno off of Rosenthal, and that ball falls out of play. And Hanno looking at the R1 Tom Saunders, why wasn't that a back row attacker violation? Should have been a back row attacker. Was his head your, above the you net? Got your setter <laughs> there, his, yeah, his hands are up. Should have been called. 21 serving to 16. Sheward back to serve again for UC Irvine. Sheward goes cross court to Sakonoko. Rosenthal out to Thim. Thim goes and drops it down the line, just uncontested. You know, you will, you will not dig that. You've got to take that line away and make him hit it into the heart of the defense. Yeah, I couldn't even imagine playing against him at Santa Barbara City College because yeah. there are a lot smaller blocks yeah. in Community College. Yeah. Trust me, he's a lot better than he was <laughs> then, too, though. Flex and shanks it out of play, saved by Hanno. Free ball by Darcy, stepping in Sakonuko. Rosenthal back to Todd. Todd sneaks it by the block of Darcy and Campbell. Two miscues by the Amiers, pulls the Rainbow Warriors back within three. Flexen just, that ball had a lot of movement from Voss. Voss, is, he's got a great serve. If you sit, sit behind this and watch this ball, it moves. Let's watch it right here. Voss, the 6'8 middle blocker from Rio de Janeiro, oh, and... Uh, I put the curse on him. <laughs> Cable gets in the way of a moving float serve, which had no rotation on it, which means it's gonna have a lot of movement. Let's see what happens with Hino. He's trying to really rip his last two serves. They've been long. Let's see if he takes a little off. Hino serves it up for Irvine, goes cross court on the chopper, make that an ace for Hino, and that's ace number 42 on the season for, you, for Clear Hino. And now we've got the second time out by Charlie Way to the Rainbow Warriors as his Hawaii team trails here in set number one. It's a great adjustment by Hilary Hino. You know, he's popped the first two, the last two serves. He served, you know, about five or six feet long. Just took a little bit off of that, which you've seen him do all year. And, and caught the, the passers have to kind of back up because he's hitting it so hard. And so he changes it and drops it barely up and over, which makes it really difficult uh, to change your weight and move forward through that. You know, it's interesting, Charlie, because currently Hilaire is ninth in the nation with aces, just got his 42nd. He's averaging 0.476 aces per set. However, last year when he finished the season, he's averaging 0 0.888 yeah. aces per set. Yeah. He's really, you know, he's doing so many other things, uh, you know, passing almost half the court, he's playing, you know, playing defense. He's a major defensive guy, blocking, and is also, you know, his. His attack, he's got so many different shots. Well, you heard Charlie when he spoke to him pre-match. They're gonna have to turn this into a serving match to get the points yeah. they both, are missing. Both coaches emphasize that. They're gonna have to serve in and uh, tough. Yeah, looking at the offensive numbers, Charlie, you got UC Irvine hitting with 633. Actually, that's 833 on the night so far. Five, 6.33, and uh, that's led by Brett Stewart running that offense on the anteater side. Yep, he's done a nice job. 10.68 assists per set this season, which is second in the NCAA. He's also fourth in digs in the NCAA. Hilaire Hanno out of the timeout, 23 serving to 18. Hanno winds up, cracks a cross court off speed pass by Choi in the middle of New Street. The left hand dug by Stewart on the flipper. Back to Darcy. Darcy tips it high line and gets the winner. And that brings us to our first set point for Irvine. Darcy gets up, hangs up there, just looks at the defense, sees Choi move in to pick up the tip. He just throws it over his head to the empty spot in area five. That was the high line wipe job by the 6'10 sophomore from Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. 
That brings the Frenchman from Pornichet, France, to serve. Chops it over pass by Choi, and it's dug by the Rainbow Warriors. Free ball picked up by Power. Sheward back to Darcy. Darcy dug by Rosenthal. Darcy actually Campbell, but got a net violation on the follow through by Darcy, I believe. And he's actually smiling because he knows he got in the way of Campbell. Yeah, he, uh, I, my rule was always let the middle blockers, <laughs> let the middle guys, they want it. You know, let them call, just call you hit it, you know. <laughs> Let's don't fight about it. Maybe Darcy's like, you play defense first, then I'll let you hit it. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's a middle blocker. Alakaya Todd to serve, 19 serve to set point number two. Todd, tough serve down the line, overpass, new firm on the palm bomb on the overpass. Point going to Hawaii. This is exactly what Coach Charlie Wade wanted. He wants his team serving the ball tough and scoring points like that. 20 serve to set point number three. Alakai Todd delivering a tough serve with heat down the line. Delivers again, little off speeder pass by Flexen. Sheward back to Hanno on the 40, and there's the winner, but we got a net violation called against Hawaii as Irvine takes the first. 25, 20 to go up. One set to zero on the Rainbow Warriors of Hawaii in our best of five Big West men's volleyball matchup. Don't go away. We've got more action coming your way from the Brent Event Center on ESPN+. Plus. Welcome back to the University of California. Irvine in the Brent Event Center where the... UC Irvine Anders just took set number one, 25-20 on the Rainbow Warriors. You're looking on screen of UC Irvine head coach David Niffin. It's in his 11th season, and he's uh, been developing his team this entire season. Well, you see his associate head coach, Milan Zarkovich. I thought they were going to go to head coach Charlie Wade, but Milan Zarkovich, another handsome human being. He is a good man. One of the, the greatest people to see. He's great, and he's a great, great coach. And you know, a lot of people think he might be the stir that stirs the drink of you know, the Hawaii team. He creates the excitement and creates the the passion for each other. And so is he's so good. Well, with that, while we're looking at the UC Irvine huddle, let's meet the rest of their coaching staff. They have assistant coaches Michael Brinkley and Scott Static. Their third assistant is Ron Larson. Over on the Hawaii side, familiar faces, head coach Charlie Wade in his 15th season, associate coach Milan Zarkovich, assistant coaches Kopono Fei and Chad Giesman. Um, <laughs> last time they played in Hawaii, Hiller Hino had 36 kills, uh, 40 points total, but 36 kills is only second in the UCI record book. Number one in the record book is set by Eric Helenihi, in 2002 with 37 kills and guess who was the setter david niffin <laughs> guess who was his coach me you <laughs> gregoriev goes cross court to Choi rosenthal high ball to sakunoko and he bangs it off of one of the irvine players and all the players saying no touch the ball was hit long i thought maybe flexen may have got it with the locks of brunette that he has but no, he, he I made a move for it, but he's saying he didn't touch it. So we have a formal challenge, a CRS challenge by head coach of UC Irvine, David Niffin, that there was a touch, not a block touch, but a touch because it could have been from flexing or the block. Yeah. <clears throat> it was called by the line judge here who who I think called it on the on flexing, but we'll see. It could be either one of them. Well, it's a weird moving ball because it was, there's a side top spin going to it so yeah. he, he's got some he's got some stuff on the ball when he hits it that's called juju charlie in Something case you're wondering you call it juju <laughs> call or it. hocus pocus yeah. or english call it but he's french so we can't call it english <laughs> i've been doing a little too much history reading charlie yeah yeah you realize that uh irvine has zero blocks so far and hawaii only has one block so far well, it's a slugfest, Charlie. Tells you what it's all about. <laughs> you know, Irvine's hitting 580, and uh, and Hawaii's hitting 452. Well, they've actually tacked up to 469 so far. They have zero attack errors, Charlie. 15 kills on 39 swings. Well, Irvine only has two attack errors. <laughs> They're hitting 588. Yeah. So we're waiting on the challenge by head coach David Niffin. 
The original call was that there is a touch on either the block or the defender flexing. Both, all players on the Irvine side said, side said they did not touch the ball. It didn't look like he touched it there. And that's the R or the lines official making the call on the touch. We're waiting. Kevin Cole, the R2. Looks like the challenge is successful. Ball's called long. Point going to UC Irvine. Uh, Rob, that only works if you have an honest uh, rapport with the setter and the player. Uh, Niff looked right at, uh, at Flexen, and Flexen said, I did not touch it. So he, he made the call and got, got the challenge. So the score goes to 1-0. Irvine leading. Grigoyev drills it down the line, passed by Thim, Rhodes with a high back to Todd. Todd just rolls it over the block, dug by Darcy. Sheward out to Hanno, double hand shove, covered by the anteater. Sheward swings, dug by Choi. Rosenthal back to Todd, goes down the line and knocks it off of Grigoryev. Great fast set by Rosenthal on that D ball. The great, you know, Todd's got it. Todd is their leading hitter. Most kills in the year, most attempts on the year. And they, he's got to get involved, especially with the lack of, with Hawkins not being in the lineup anymore. One serving to one, Rosenthal back to the service line for the Rainbow Warriors. Good pass by Flex and Sheard over to Campbell and Voss just eats it up. Voss just lined up on Campbell's approach and threw all 10 fingers and two hands Laid, on there. Just was in front of it and read it coming a mile away and waited on his block. Two serve no one, Rosenthal's second best server on the team. Crush's first best server on the Hawaii team. Ball's passed by Flexen. Sheward high ball out to Hanno. Hanno wipes it off the block of Todd and the antenna. Smart play and Sakonuko and Hanno showing their French flair real they early. They both have made that play. They really make an effort to show the, that they found the pressure. Then they push it. Otherwise, it's a guessing game. Two serve to two, Sheward goes towards Sakonuko. Rosenthal back to Sakonuko and he hammers it at Good sportsmanship by the fellow Frenchman. I think uh, Hanno may have tripped on the follow through of Sakonuko, but they're all good. Yeah, Sakonuko just, uh, as he made the hit, came down, and I think Hillier just hit him that, that up above and fell down. Three serving at two, Sakonuko. Louis Sakonuko back to serve. Stands at 6-5 from Paris, France, from Francois Combe. The jump serve misses about six inches long, and Guillerme Voss looks right back to don't challenge. <laughs> <laughs> three serving to three, and that brings Hanno back to serve. Hanno, nine kills, one error hitting 667, has an ace and a dig on the night so far. Hanno, 6'8 junior, outside hitter from Pornache. Choi, perfect pass of Rosenthal on the big to Sakonuko. Back row attacker violation. Point going to UC Irvine. That one had so, to be close. I thought he was clear. Well, that what happened there was Sakonuko took off to hit from behind the 10-foot line, but was stepping on the 10-foot line as he jumped. And that was the call. Four serving to three. Hanno back to serve. Goes cross court, pass by Thim, set by Rosenthal, off the cable, dug by Flexen off the Sakonoko attack. Flexen off the block, covered by power. Hanno sets it back to Darcy. Darcy tips it, dug by Rosenthal. Voss and uh, Campbell go up on the joust, and Campbell wins out. Just like in medieval times, both big horses going at each other. That, that bick by Sakonoko. Is, a, is so, wow, nice play by Connor Campbell. Bicks, that Bick by Sakonoko is getting quicker each time he hits it. Hedo back to serve up 5-3, top spin. Goes towards them, Rosenthal back to Todd. Todd, and Todd delivers a rocket in the deep corner. I still feel it's important to take the line as they did. And uh, they've got three diggers over there. They've got to be able to pick that up s sooner or later during the match. What's crazy is Alakai Todd played behind Dimi Muklias, and it feels like they are so strong, both players, for obvious reasons. Played behind Rado before <laughs> that. Hybrid pass by Flexen from Voss. Sheward out to Flexen. Flexen bangs it off of Voss, and there goes ricocheting into the baseball fields. <laughs> that actually, I think, landed in the tuba up there in the band, or, or close to the tuba. 
Don't ever harm the tuba player, Charlie. No, no, no. <laughs> I've been known to do that a little too, so. <laughs> Six serve to four. Oh! Campbell hits a hybrid towards Choi. Tight pass saved by Rosenthal. And on the shove, we call it the love shove here. Well, is uh, Alakai Todd. Yeah, Flexen's got to have better vision. He's got to really watch the attacker. He could see that all taking place and then could have overreacted or reacted by turning his hands. Five serving a six. Alakai Todd back to serve for Todd. Yeah, hard to believe that's. Uh, oh, fixed it by Hanno. Flexen dug by Todd. And we have a net violation. I believe Kevin called the R2, called it on uh, Rosenthal. But Hanno faked the attack again. You know what's really funny is that Hawaii didn't even go for the fake. Everyone else <laughs> in, the, in the whole arena thought he was going to hit it, and then they didn't go for it. Darcy cracks it towards Choi. Rose with the high ball to Thim. Thim winds up swings and gets it off the block. And actually, his uh, head, Max Gregorian said his head got it. Yeah, he hit Max's <laughs> hand. Well, you, you see him motion towards Nip, and he pointed at his head. Yeah. <laughs> Six serving a seven. Thim back to the service line. For Thim, that's kill number four, who's got zero attackers, hitting 667. Winding up, that had to be about 75 miles per hour. And Flexen denied by Neuster and Rosenthal. The Manoa Roofing Company making an appearance here in the brand. Yeah, that's, uh, you can see why called the Manoa Roofing Company, University of Hawaii in the Manoa Valley. Big swing by Flexen, but a bigger put back by Neustra. Yeah, Rosenthal should and still be in high school. He graduated early to come. Should be a senior at Maricosta High School. And he looks like a, he's 40 years old. <laughs> so mature. And uh, Grigoryev twists it out of play on the attack, trying to avoid the block. And Hawaii takes the lead at 8-7. Keone Thim is stopping and popping from the service line tonight. Yeah, he's, he's really, really known for the velocity of his serve. Well, the explosion off the contact, is, you can hear it from where, we're on the other yeah. side of the court. Yeah. He goes a little bit off, takes a little off, it passed by Flex and to Gregoriev, and he drills it on the 31 set between Rosenthal and Neustra. He caught Neustra trying to reach for that angle again, and he just cut it back into the seam. That little float pattern looks like. Cut right between them. <laughs> nice vision. Eight serving eight. That brings Nolan Flexen back to serve. Flexen seven kills. One error hitting 500 tonight. Only his second, third start of the season. Since coming back from injury, he misses just long. And everyone's saying, is that in? And coach is saying, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> uh, he said it was out. I think, believe it was out, too. Sometimes you like to see that it's in, hoping it's in, you know. That brings Kurt Neustrer back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. Neustrer, <laughs> one kill off of three swings, hitting 333. He's got a block assist and a dig to his name tonight. Neustrer, like all of the uh, Hawaii Rainbow, can really serve. And Sheward goes over to Flexen, and Flexen pops a cap in the corner. That's a great cross-court shot. As you know, that's the uh, hypotenuse of the triangle, <laughs> the longest part of the court. The best shot you can make as far as being able to hit it flat and deep. Nine serve to nine. Gregoria back to serve for the Anteaters. Gregoria, the 6'4", sophomore middle blocker from Walnut Creek. Drills it and almost hits Alakai Todd, is shifting over to his D position. Yeah, that happens. The opposite is kind of hidden in the back row. If he's not awake, a serve, an errant serve will catch him. That brings that Tread Rosenthal back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. Rosenthal, 16 assists tonight in a dig and tacking on a block assist as well. Goes down the line and misses a couple feet long, tying it up at 10s. Sheward to serve for UC Irvine. Sheward listed at 6-2. The Graduate Student Center right out of Newport Beach. One of the most talented all-around volleyball players you could find in the game. Sakanuko on the hand pass. Sakanuko rolls it and he's swatted up top by Heno. Great play. Obviously, he, he may have confronted that before in practice in France. He just waited on it. And Sakanuko wanted to tip it, he just threw it over, threw it down. 
Irvine balances the scales their way with the 11-10 lead. Sheward to Choi. Rosenthal out to Todd. Blocked at the net by Darcy and Campbell. Rosenthal back out to Todd. Dug by Flexen, but it ricochets out of play. Takes down a couple cheerleaders and falls. <laughs> Flexen got in the way of that. He, he almost had that ball. Filled the seam. Double snake eyes on the board at 11-11. Luis Sakanuko back to serve for Hawaii. Sakanuko on the night, five kills, hitting 125. Spins that one into the net. He had a weird approach on that jump serve approach. You know, a lot of serving hard, Rob. It's amazing how much uh, confidence is required to be able to serve hard. And he really looked as he went up to serve like he doubted himself. Hanno, hybrid, pass by Sakunoko. Rosenthal on the quick back attack to Voss. Dug by Hanno, bump set by Power. Down ball by Hanno, covered by Rosenthal. Back set by Voss to Thim. Thim block, covered by Sakunoko. Rosenthal to Sakunoko, block, covered by Flexen. Hanno, hand sets, left side, Flexen, Flexen, triple block, up the block. Swat to deep corner, and Todd, double hand block, but it goes long. 13 serving, 11. Todd didn't even really jump on that second ball right there and just tried to go placement, but ended up falling saw long. Saw the open court, he just, but he got a little excited and threw it too long. 13 serving, 11. Hanno back to the service line for Irvine. Hanno winds up, goes down the line to Sakunoko. Rosenthal in the middle of Voss, who's denied by Campbell, covered by the Rainbow Warriors. Todd hits it long. Point going to use Irvine, 14, serving 11. Big swing by Todd. I think he was looking for block on that one. He was looking, but he also came down, and after, right afterward, he looked at Rosenthal and said, set me. Set me the next <laughs> ball. 14, That's what you want. <laughs> 14, serving 11. Hanno takes his serving routine. Irvine up one set to zero, goes cross court off a Choi. Balls pass off the net. Rosenthal high ball to Thim. Thim denied at the net, but it goes out of play on the long distance tool. He had Darcy, Flexen, and Campbell up on him. The shortest blocker being 6'8. <laughs> 12 looking at 14. Guillerme Voss serving two kills, hitting 333. Two block assists for the senior middle blocker from Rio de Janeiro. Flexen passes way off the net. Hando hand pass, high ball to Flexen. Flexen tips over the block, dug by Rosenthal, bumps it by Voss. Right side to Todd. Todd off the block and ricochets it out of play. Point going to Hawaii. Smart play by Todd. Took a little off the tempo, which is, I've been saying all night, that's really, really the way you get those big blocks. Voss back to service line, trailing 13 to 14 here in set number two. Irvine took the first 25-20. Voss hybrid pass by power, perfect to Sheward. Back to Darcy, Darcy up, up and away. Rocking it on the right side is William Darcy as we go to our media timeout with the end eaters leading 15-13 here in set number two. Don't go away, we've got more NCAA men's volleyball coming your way here on ESPN. Welcome back to the University of California, Irvine and the Brenna Event Center for our Big West Men's Volleyball Showdown. You're looking at head coach Charlie Wade and associate head coach Milan Zarkovic. Charlie Wade in his 15th season, the 2023 Big West Coach of the Year, 15th year at the helm. You know, Charlie Wade talks a lot about the number of errors you make in a set. He likes to keep it at seven per set. He thinks that you'll win if you only have seven airs. Unfortunately, uh, Hawaii is already up to nine. Uh, oh, check that, 10 airs so far right now. Got a substitution for Irvine. The Connor substitution happening. Dom for Campbell, which means Dom going back to serve the 6-4 junior. Serving and defensive specialist from Danville, California. Dama hits the spin, goes cross court towards Choi. Rosenthal high ball to Thim. Thim denied at the net by the 6'10 Darcy. But Gregoria up there to beat him and get the block assist. You know, Darcy, when you, if that set's too tight, like that ball was a little tight, that's harder on Tim to hit through because it because Darcy can cover that ball quickly. If it's a little further off the net, it gives him more room to hit around or high up off. 16, 13. 
Dom taking his time at the service line. Dom providing some good D. Ball's passed by Troy. Rosenthal back to Todd. Todd dug by Hanna really high in the venue. Sheward gets underneath and shoots it to Flex and dug by Choi, set by Neuster. Thim takes a rip, dug by Dom. Sheward looks, shoots out to Flex and again, and he misses long. Point going to Hawaii, missed opportunity for the Anteaters. Ty was, or uh, Todd was giving him a lot of line on that. That was a great dig by Choi. Just dropped right into it and picked it up. Kept the rally going. 14 serving to 16, Alakai Todd back to serve for Hawaii. Todd, the 6'9", senior opposite from Kailua, Oahu, Hawaii. He's got nine kills, hitting 438 on the night. Big swing on the serve, passed by Hanno. Sheward back to Darcy. Darcy off speed, dug by Sakonuko. Rosenthal back to Todd, going against a grain, and return to sender. Gregoriev and Flexen penetrating and dropping it back on the white side. So well timed on the block. Slowed it down a little bit and got great, great penetration on it. The flexing was so far over the net on that. Timing-wise, it came back so fast. Yeah, ball actually landed before Alakai Todd landed. 17 serving to 14. And flexing the transfer from the Masters at University, upsetting Pepperdine three to two tonight, up PCH, and uh, denied at the net's Gregoria by Rosenthal. Big bodies at the net, clamped by Flexen, picked up by Thim. Todd swings high, but misses long. And little broken up picnic ball going on on both sides of the court. I love how Flexen and Darcy both if the play is a, a tight play at the net, they just keep their hands up. You see and, that ball being hit long by Todd. Yeah. It's falling backwards. Yeah. And we got a timeout taken by Hawaii. Coach Charlie Wade not liking this last sequence of points on the Hawaii side. Uh, uh, Hawaii seems to have lost that, that. I mean, to attack like they like to attack, you've got to be ready and get up and attack every time. You can't be caught slowing down your approach hitting the ball behind you. You've got to get up and attack it into the 900 square feet. That's 30 by 30. <laughs> that equals 900 square feet. <laughs> there we go. You know Charlie was a math major here at UC Irvine? <laughs> oh, sorry, statistics. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Looking at our stats for UC Irvine, Elyria Heno leading the way, 10 kills, one error, hitting 643. But he's kind of chipping in everywhere, Charlie. He's got an ace, he's got an assist, he's got Four digs and a block assist. He's made some great digs in the back row, which is kind of the, the only way you can really slow uh, a big attacking team down, is to because you're not going to block them every time. You've got to have some digs back there, and Hino has a real good feel for seeing the ball come through the block and lining up on it and popping it up. You got to look at the cast of supporting suspects. Nolan Flex and seven kills in 313, but yep. Darcy and Gregoria both have five kills apiece, and between them, they're hitting over 400. Well, yeah. Hino's, Hino's 10, 1, and 14, which is a, a pretty good pretty good night so far. On the Hawaii side, leading the way, you've got Alakai Todd, nine kills, hitting 278. And them, five kills, hitting 400. In the second set, Hawaii is hitting zero versus UC Irvine's 143. So both teams cooling off here in the second set. Yeah. Are you, they couldn't keep up that uh, offensive attack like they had in the first set. 15 serving to 18. Keone Thim back to serve. The six foot senior outside from Honolulu, Oahu, Hawaii. Transfer from Santa Barbara City College. He's liable to rip this one hard. And he does, but it goes into the net. A lot of uh, that net, the elasticity showed how hard he hit that serve. Yep. As Akil Tengatur steps in for Nolan Flexen for serving and defensive purposes, 19 serving to 15. Akil is such a steady player. He does so many setting things. It's really a calming factor. Tengatur, the 6'2 graduate, outside hitter from Pacific Palisades, goes towards them. Rosenthal pops it out to Sakunoko, who's denied at the net by the 6'4", Gregoriev, and the 6'2", Stewart. 
20, serving up 15. Really outstanding timing on that block. Sakunoko is going to out jump a lot of people, and Max just waited on him and then got it up and over. 20 served to 15 here in set number two. You Servine leading one set to zero. Tanga toward drills it towards Choi, saved by Rosenthal. Sakunuko is denied at the outside by the same blocking tandem of Short and Gregoriev. They have a good feel for the timing of Sakunoko's hits. You know, he gets up, he hangs. If you jump with him, he's going to hit it over the top. So they just wait, jump late, and get their hands over low and hard. And as you can see, they have his rhythm down. And with that, head coach Charlie Wade takes a second and final time out in the second with his team trailing 21-15. to 15. And although Sakanuko is getting blocked and been figured out by the Irvine defense, I am telling you, he is one of the most talented players on the Hawaii team. Very, very, very athletic. I think his consistency is the one part of his game that, that probably needs to mature as he, as he plays more and more. One of the things that sticks out about Sakanuko, and it's just in, in interacting with him in previous matches that I've seen him, he's teachable. And I, one thing that my coach told me is you look for the teachable guy. <laughs> kind of, it's fun to coach those guys. <laughs> you know, he's just, he's, you know, before the game, I see him, he's walking down. And he just smiles and starts talking to me. I've never talked to him before. <laughs> just really a wonderful, nice young man, and obviously very, very talented. He and he, and, as I said earlier, he and Heno are same same national team and and very, very close friends. Well, it's unfortunate circumstances that brought him into the starting lineup. I want to uh, say a special hello to Spiros Hakas. Yeah, uh, tremendous player, and tremendous person, leader, athlete. I mean, everything about Spiros Hakas. Incredible, I love seeing him on the court. Chatting with him courtside, but he is a great ambassador to the game of volleyball. Yep, yeah. he'll he'll uh, recover from that uh, surgery and he'll be back playing professionally somewhere. And I've loved the lobby for him for player of the year. I mean, <laughs> he's had such a wonderful career, even if it's an honorary. I, I mean, he's just been that much for the game. Well, he, he, the team is a different team when he's on the floor. Out of the timeout, it's 21 serving of 15. Tanga Tour goes down the line towards Choi. Good pass set by Rosenthal to Sakonoko. And again, the same tandem of Short and Gregoriev turning out the lights. 22 serving of 15. Here comes Chaz Galloway into the lineup, replacing Sakonoko. Chaz Galloway, the 6'3 senior outside from San Diego, California, and Del Norte High School. Played down at he, Weave. He, too, is a big jumper. One of my, I always enjoyed watching Galloway play his entire career. Tanga Tour goes cross court and wisely letting it go. Keone Thim stops a four-point scoring run by the Anteaters. 16 served at 22. Back in comes Flexen for Tanga Tour. Nice job by Akil Tanga Tour to get, to score four points. You get one or two, you're, you're happy with it. Four, you're really happy. That brings Kurt Neustrer back to serve for Hawaii, hitting 333, and that only has one kill and a block assist. Goes cross court over towards Power. Sheward back to Darcy. Darcy hits it on the way down, over dig by Neustrer. Picked up by Power. Sheward out to Hanno. Hanno going to his finesse Frenchie game. Little topspin roller sneaking it by Rosenthal. And the, and the hard part, the hard part is every time he swings, it looks the same. He could he can make that same approach and snap that ball really hard or take a little bit off of it. One of the reasons he's so successful. 23 served the 16. Gregoriev goes cross court to Choi. Rosenthal on the dump and gets the winner. That two ball attack is so effective. You just don't know when it's coming. Well, it's 6 8 or 6 9. He's, he's so effective. And he likes to use it. He gets four or five swings almost every match for them and hits for a high percentage with shots just like that. Rosenthal with 18 assists, three digs and a block assist for the Rainbow Warriors, trailing 17 to 23 here in set number two. Topspin pass by Hanno, Sheward back to Darcy. Darcy goes off the block and looks like Guillerme Voss is claiming the touch. They were about to challenge until Voss looked back at the bench. That brings us to set point. Irvine serving to 17. 
Sheward back to serve for the Anteaters. Sheward goes topspin to Galloway. Rosenthal high ball to Todd, and Todd hammers it down the line past Darcy on the one-on-one. -on -one. 18 served to set point number two. Good looking ball by Alakai Todd. And that's Galloway back to the service line for Hawaii. Galloway also has a very hard serve. Power on the perfect pass of Sheward on the big to flex and back row attacker violation. Point going to Hawaii. 19. You know, when, when you're coming out of the back row, you've got to turn your foot so that it's parallel to the 10 foot line. Can't come in with your foot perpendicular because you're usually over, but if you go parallel, you can drop it right before the line. Galloway on the toss goes down the line to power. Saved by Sheward. Hanno off the block. Dug by Rosenthal. Choi hand sets to Todd. Todd blocked, covered by Rosenthal. Galloway on the set out to Thim. Thim looks, shoots, and goes wide and long. Point and set number two going to UC Irvine as they take the second 25-19 and lead our best of five match of two sets to zero over the fourth rank Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. Don't go away. We've got more NCAA men's volleyball coming at you on ESPN+. Plus. Welcome back to the University of California, Irvine, and the Bread Event Center, where the fifth-ranked Anteaters now lead the fourth-ranked Hawaii Rainbow Warriors two sets of zero. And all for the goal of making it to the Big West Men's Volleyball Championship and getting the best seat as possible. As you see on the screen there, the quarterfinals, or the opening round, starts off with a four versus five seed, three versus six. But Charlie, take us along the rest of the way as those teams face the number one and number two seeds. And Charlie talking to Charlie Wade, so, sideline here. I'll, Man, I'll cover the show. I old, got this. We old coaches have to catch <laughs> up a little, you know, just because it's after the second set of a big match like this. But, you know, he, uh, I've coached against him or, you know, for many, 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 many years. I was always so impressed when, when he was coaching women at University of Pacific. I was coaching the women here at UC Irvine. And I would scout their team. I'd look at their, you'd chart all their lineups and where everybody hit. And we'd be all set. We'd go into the arena at Spanos Arena at Stockton to play University of <laughs> Pacific. That's old and school. I, <laughs> and I'd look across the net. I'd go, hold it. It's got a whole different lineup. <laughs> so we played the whole night every time playing chess. He would make a move. I would make the adjustment. He'd adjust. I'd adjust. He's really a good tactician. Rosenthal back to serve. Just wanted to add on the Big West Men's Volleyball Championship presented by the Hawaiian Islands. It's going to be at the Simplify Stan Sheriff Center. It's going to be home matches for Hawaii, which is an excellent venue. And that's Hanno delivering off of Galloway over the block in cross court. He just, there was just enough seam on that real quick set by Sheward that Hanno was able to get to beat the block and hit the ball in between the blockers. One serve to zero. Gregoriev back to serve for UC Irvine. Gregoriev hitting 444. That's five kills on nine swings. Perfect pass by Choi. Voss blocked in the net by Campbell. Rosenthal back to Thim against the grain. Hits it wide and long. No touch. Actually, one of the lines officials is calling a touch on the far side, on the Irvine side. We'll see what happens. We could have a challenge, but Tom Saunders is going to overrule. Actually, so there's going to be a touch called on the play, and we're going to have a Dave Nippon's second challenge on the night. The original call is that there is a block touch, and Coach David Nippon will be. I, I don't understand if Tom Saunders overruled the, the line judge's call, then why would they uh, need a challenge? Well, I may have misinterpreted it because when he saw the flag go up and the hand touch gesture, Saunders went to his chest like he's going to overrule it, and then he went to the call for the line's official. Yeah, because Niffin was pretty sure. He saw it right away. So, again, we're in our CRS challenge or video challenge by UC Irvine's David Niffin. Original calls that there's a touch on the block. They're challenging that there was no touch on the attack by Keone Thim, as we see in our replay. Great work by our ESPN Plus camera crew. That's really high. I don't, so the ball's not spinning at all. Yeah, there's no change in rotation. 
if there's any contact. And you saw no fingers bent back either. Well, it looks like Connor Campbell just dropped his so, left hand. So uh, the challenge is successful by Coach David Niffin. So he, each team has three challenges to start the match. If you challenge and are successful in your challenge, then you keep your challenge. So now Irvine still has three, even though they've had two challenges. So Coach Niffin is 2-0 on challenges tonight. Two serving is zero. Gregoriev off the cable pass by Choi Rosenthal. Back over to Thim, he's blocked at the net and misses just wide. So another long distance tool by Thim. He has so much velocity on that ball when he swings. Yeah. <laughs> He, well, he gets up quick and he swings quick. One looking at two, Thim back to the service line. Thim, a five kills, hitting 154. Goes cross court, misses long. Point going to Irvine, three serving to one. He does hit that hard, doesn't he? So uh, he's been known to hit upwards of 78 miles per hour. And what's crazy is he got guys hitting 80 miles per hour this season, too. Then perfect pass to Rosenthal, back to Todd. Todd hammers it down the line and almost tomahawk chop power playing defense. No, uh, Hino was helping in the middle on Voss, and and so there was no block on, on Alakai Todd. They just hit it where he wanted to. Two serving to three, Guillerme Voss serving it up for the Rainbow Warriors. Voss hits a hybrid down the line to power, hand pass. Sheward back to Heno. Heno sends fire down the line. Just up over the right shoulder of Voss. He went up and it made it look like he's going cross court in the last second. He just turned, took it right down the line and deep. For Heno, that's kill number 12, who's hitting a scorching 647. Heno now back to serve, off speed, pass by Choi. Rosenthal back to Todd. Todd off the block, picked up by Power. Sheward looks, shoots in the middle, Campbell, and up off the block and out of play. Campbell has been a great offensive point scoring source for Sheward. He hits that, hits that ball up. He's on the way up. He's looking at the block and he just hits it up into the high end and uh, over you know, uh, Kim. That brings Heno back to serve again up 5-2. Chops this one in the net. Point going to Hawaii. Alakai Todd serving the 6-9 senior option from Punahou High School. Or the Punahou School. Got to get that right. Get that right. <laughs> A lot of good volleyball played there. Great serve, overpass, and taking out the trash is Tred Rosenthal, the freshman from Manhattan Beach, California. I just can't even imagine playing against a 6'8 setter in high school, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> well, no one asked you this year. <laughs> he graduated early. Four serving to five. Todd at the service line goes over towards Heno. Sheward back to Darcy. Darcy dug by Thim, saved by Choi. Tight. Rosenthal wins a joust, covered by Sheward. Power bump sets left side to flex and tips over the block into the cookie jar. Point going to UC Irvine. He just outreached everyone. Nice look by Flex and take a look over there and see what's going on. Uh, Alakai Todd thought he was going to find the pressure and push it off the block out of bounds. He went out of bounds to dig the ball that's out there, and no one covered the middle. That brings Connor Campbell serving deep line over towards Choi Rosenthal to Galloway. Galloway drops it into the corner or gets a touch. I think he actually got in the corner. <laughs> Boy, he gets up, doesn't he? Oh, that's why I love where we sit. We get to see his approach and then his elevation. He gets just so smooth and so athletic. Five serving to six, that brings Galloway back to the service line. First kill of the night for the senior from San Diego, California. Tough serve down the line, but it misses just long. The famous game of dodgeball, dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Just glad, uh, that's, that's ball's coming pretty fast. That brings Will Darcy back to serve for Irvine. Darcy, six kills, hitting 385. Tough serve by Choi, it's off the net. Rosenthal high ball to Thim. Thim takes a rip, saved by Gregoriev, hands it by Power. Flexen goes cross court on the rip and scorches the sideline. 
And there's going to be a lot of discussion here, but Coach Charlie Wade not making any gestures towards the challenge card. Tom, Tom Saunders, the up referee, never. Well, it, let some play. That's kind of the rule. You're going to let him play ball control wise. Well, Flexen gets the put away on that hammer. Point going to Irvine, 8 5. Darcy off speed, pass by Toy, overpass, and Sheward takes a rip and knocks it off of Neuster who also follows through into the net, and Sheward has a wicked arm. <laughs> you see, Sheward's a great, he's a great libero, obviously, and he's proving himself to be a very, very good setter. He's really good on the beach. <laughs> see him down at 28th Street, Newport, right? As Darcy hits that one into the net, point going to Hawaii. Six serve to nine, bring Kurt, that brings Kurt Neustra back to the service line. Neustra is still on one kill. Hasn't had too many attempts. He's only had three attempts on the evening. He's got a block assist on the night. Hits it into the net. Point going to UC Irvine. Ten serving to six. And Nolan Flexen back to the service line for UCI. Flexen, nine kills, hitting 316 with three digs and a block assist. Flexen delivers cross court, pass by Galloway tight, saved by Rosenthal. Thim, cross court crush him. He has such a rocket of a wrist. Well, it was a <laughs> nice save by Rosenthal. He got the ball before it went over the net. Any other setter that would have been gone over his head and, and over the net. He takes it, set it a little bit off the net. Thim, Thim made the adjustment. Took it so that it was just off his shoulder and whipped it through the hole. Going back to serve, Trent Rosenthal, seven serving a 10. Rosenthal goes to the spin, pass by Power Sheward on the quick over towards Hanno, and he just goes from area four to five. <laughs> goes right over the top into that deep seam where nobody's playing defense. And it wasn't even that hard hit of a ball, it just it was a pure placement shot. He, looked, he was lo looking at the court. 11, serving to seven. Gregoriev back to serve for UCI. Gregoriev winds up off the cable. Choi on a good pass to Rosenthal. Boss in the middle. Pancake by Gregoriev. Hanna rolls it off the block. Saved by Voss. Hand set by Galloway. Them tips, but he's blocked at the net by Hanno, Campbell, and Sheward. Hanno made a great adjustment. He just waited, waited on the ball on the block ball and then got his hand over the top of it. Great timing, great block. We've got a timeout taken by Hawaii, trailing 12-7 here in set number three. Don't go away. We've got more Big West men's volleyball coming your way on ESPN+. Plus. Welcome back to the University of California, Irvine, and the Brett Event Center where the Anteaters lead Hawaii two sets to zero in our best of five matchup and lead here in our third set, 12-7. Charlie, what are we seeing so far here? Well, Irvine now is leading in the block, 7.5 to three. You can see that slowing down the attack of University of Hawaii. The University of Hawaii has 14 airs all just in the hitting category alone. Irvine is hitting about 443, and Hawaii's dropped to, to 197. Big difference. Out of the timeout. We've got Max Gregoriev serving it up for Irvine. Tough serve, tight pass, actually overpass, knocked down by Campbell. Rosenthal out to Todd. Todd tools the outside block. Broken play winner. Great heady play by Rosenthal. Yeah, he got away with it. You know, he faded. And, and Campbell had his hands down, kind of tried to get his hands up, just popped it back over to him. Keone Thim back to serve for Hawaii. Them riding on seven kills, hitting 188, three digs. Goes down the line to Hanno. Sheward back to Darcy against the grain. Misses wide. Darcy not getting a lot of sets tonight offensively. And so it seems, but that was his 15th attempt. <laughs> yeah, he's getting, he's close. Lexon has 19 and, and Hanno has 20. 15, that's a lot. Nine looking at 12. Them back to the service line, a six foot senior. Goes down the line to Hanno's pass way off the net. Flexen stepped in on the bump set. Hanno looks, goes to the right hand and tools the block of Todd Voss and Galloway. 
You know, again, it, I keep talking about tempo, but that's what that right hand does. He doesn't hit it as hard as he hits the ball with his left hand, and, the, and just the block gets mistimed all the time. Hanno having a phenomenal year is definitely in the discussion for player of the year. Thim passes a Rosenthal big to Thim, and he hits it just wide. I thought it was in, but I can't see the sideline as well on my angle. It was a little, little wide, but boy, he, that was a nicely timed play. Good set. 14 served to nine. Uh, Sheward back to serve for the Anteaters. Sheward goes deep corner, misses wide and long. Point going to Hawaii as they reach double digits at 10 14. Guillerme Voss served it up for the Rainbow Warriors. Voss, two kills, eight attempts, hitting 250, two block assists on the night. Voss hits a hybrid down the line, hand pass by Hanno. Sheward back to Hanno. Tip and winning out is Hanno going to the soft game. Hanno not even showing his full arsenal tonight. <laughs> that's, I don't know. That's a that's a pretty good shot. Well, we he, haven't he seen the love right show. To Nust Nuster, who was kind of shocked, like, what, you want me to dig it? <laughs> I, I, I'm a middle blocker, not a digger. 15-10, Hanno back to serve for the Anteaters. Hanno goes cross court to them. Tough serve, save. Todd swings off the block, covered by Campbell. Sheward looks, shoots outside to Flexen. Flexen block. Hanno on the recovery. Sheward back to Hanno on the 40. Finds the empty real estate. He sets it over out of the back row. Sheward tried to force a really, really fast 40 set. That would have been, that, I, I saw it all happen. I'm going, oh, they're going to run the 40. He's not ready. <laughs> yeah, he and just saw the court. And we have a timeout, a second and final timeout taken by Coach Charlie Wade and Hawaii as they trail 16-10. What do they say? Hanno's playing chess, and the rest of these guys are playing checkers. <laughs> What do you mean? They're playing tic-tac-toe, that's yeah. it. <laughs> he just sees the court and he's got so many shots and it's uh, his adjustment and what shot to take is all based on uh, what, what the other court is giving, what the other side's giving him. Yeah, it's uh, pretty insane that just within a 35, 40 mile radius, we've got other top five teams going at it because the Big West is Hot, but you also have MPSF, you have UCLA facing Grand Canyon up north. But as you see on the screen there, we got our fourth ranked team in the nation, one of the best uh, top five teams in the nation, Hawaii. They have our second match tomorrow night here at 6 p.m. Then they head on down to UC San Diego, the Tritons, who are having a pretty good season considering you don't look at the conference record, you gotta look what they're doing otherwise. Yeah, they've beaten a lot of teams that, you, that in the past you wouldn't have thought. You know, they, they're, they're Brad Ross Riders really made them very competitive and building young and they've got some good players coming back and he's doing a great job. And then you see UC Irvine's remaining on Big West matches. They finish up with Hawaii obviously tomorrow night at 6 p.m. They head up the freeway. Long Beach State, actually Friday, will be here at the Brent Event Center, and then they head up to the Walter Pyramid. Again, 6 p.m. for that match against Long Beach State, 7 p.m. at the Pyramid. It's gonna be it's another big weekend. Out of the timeout, that's Lear Hanno back to serve up 16-10 here in set number three. Irvine up two sets to zero. Hanno, the 6'8 junior outside hitter from Pornichet, France. Goes off the cable, passed by Neusterer, picked up by Rosenthal. Galloway takes a rip, he's denied. Doug just out of play by Thim. I thought it landed in, but I'm gonna trust the line judges. I, I saw it in, but I don't know about you, Charlie. <laughs> no one else is contesting it. So it looks like Coach Charlie Wade is gonna challenge that Doug Ball. The formal challenge on the play is Ball was in. Ball was originally called out. The play stands as called. The score will be 17 to 10, Irvine. Let's see on the replay. Power, you see, making the move towards that ball. Yeah, I, I thought it was in. I thought it was in also. So, uh, even, it was a few inches in. <laughs> Power needs to get over there, and if it's close, play it. If it is, that's the D2K, the dig to kill. 
kick to kill. <laughs> And looks like the challenge is successful. Point goes to Hawaii. Oh, actually, it's unsuc unsuccessful. I thought they. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the ball was out. Oh, substitution for Hawaii as we were trying to figure out all that. Checking in for the first time, 6 8 sophomore opposite from Bursa, Turkey, Ojan Ogush. Hanno on the serve goes towards Choi. Shoots it to Neustra, goes to the left hand and somehow gets by Darcy and Campbell. Point going to the Rainbow Warriors. Nice shot, he just pushed it to the seam between the blockers. Going back to serve for Hawaii for the first time is Oishan Oj, and he serves it long. Point going to UC Irvine. And substitution to Connor switch. Back in is Dom for Campbell. Dom is 6'4", junior outside hitter, serving specialist and defensive specialist from Danville. Anything could happen here. Connor Dom serving. Dom spins it into the net, even that. <laughs> yeah, I hope I didn't jinx him. <laughs> 12 serving to 18 after the service error by the Anteater. Campbell back in for Dom. That brings Galloway back to serve. Galloway seeing his first action here in set number three. Galloway has a kill off of two attempts. Looks like he'll go to the spin, goes cross court to Hanno. Sheward pops it back to Darcy. Darcy over the block, dug by Choi. Rosenthal Great after them. By Choi. Them uh, goes off the block and out of play. Them on the by arm flex. He hit that ball so hard it traveled the entire width of the so court. Choi just dug underneath. That ball's wide open. Great shot by Darcy and Choi read it and got on the floor to pick it up. Choi on scoop patrol just stepped in and took the bullet yeah, from great, Darcy. Great dig. Tight pass, Sheward in the middle of Grigoriev, it hits off of Oj, and it goes out of play. Grigoriev with that windmill lightning quick swing. He just looks and sees what's open and usually never hits the block. 19 serving at 13, that brings Will Darcy back to serve. Darcy goes down the line to Choi, good pass, Rosenthal out to Thim, Thim over Sheward. Former teammate, not even in the house, it seemed like. <laughs> that was way over sure. <laughs> oh, Keone, sure. Thib taking the elevator to sure. the 100th floor there. Sure looks over <laughs> his, Don't you know I was a libero? <laughs> 14 serving to 19. Neuster serving it up for the Bows. Neuster now two kills, hitting 500. Neuster goes towards Hanno. Sheward outside to Darcy, uh, correction to Flex and dug by Galloway. Rosenthal to Thim, Thim off of uh, Sheward's one hand saved by Hanno, set by Sheward. Flex and rolls it off the top, dug by Galloway. Rosenthal legs his way underneath it. Thim takes a rip and is denied by Sheward and Grigoriev. Max Grigoriev hung back and waited and waited and Push his hands over. You know, Fem didn't have enough time to get, the rally had gone so long, he didn't have enough time to really get set for his approach. So he only had a one-step approach, which wasn't quite enough to get it over the, over the block. Back to serve and subbing in is Akil Tanga Tour for Nolan Flexen. Tanga Tour had a four-point serving run in set number two. Which was a you know, key to that, that second set win. Tanga Tour goes over towards Galloway. Rosenthal to Thim. Thim, this time goes to the uprights of Sheward. Or through the wickets, depending on what country and <laughs> game you're playing. Flexing back in for Tanga Tour. Rosenthal back to serve. For Thim on the night. That's killed number nine. Still hitting 143. Rosenthal hits the spin down the line, pass by Hanno. 
Sheward shoots it out to Hanno. Hanno off the block, saved by Choi. Rosenthal pops outside to the left, pin, Thim off the block, covered by Hanno. Sheward goes to Gregoriev, knocks it off of Rosenthal, set by Choi. And that should have been a back row attacker violation, hand set by Choi on the back row. Choi was in front of the 10 foot line and set the ball with his hands. And Hawaii ended up attacking that, so that should be a back row attacker should violation. Be, yeah, Choi set the ball in front of the 10 foot line. 16 serving at 20. We'll let that go, I guess. It's a non challengeable play. <laughs> the coaching staff here in Hawaii knows it too. Yeah, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're all, all chuckling, smiling. <laughs> chuckling at the missed call. <laughs> All right, hashtag refs are people too. It is officiation appreciation week. Oh, okay, Charlie. good. <laughs> Didn't appreciate that call or lack of. Rosenthal delivers down the line, pass by Hanno. Sewer tight, goes dug by Choi. Rosenthal back to Oge, and he hits it wide. Point going to Irvine, 21 serving to 16. I think saw that uh, Hanno was over there, and he just wanted to turn it down the line away from him. Now they're in row one who puts your opposite hitting on the left. So it may be, this might be, if he can't get it to Voss, he's gonna backside. Gagoya back to serve, goes into the net. Looks like he hit that one way too low. His contact yeah. point was just not good. Late, late in the match, you start to get a little tired, not quite jumping off like he did the first two sets. Keone Thim back to serve for the Bulls. Then getting some good rips tonight from the service line. Goes off the cable. That's called a dirty ace winner as it trickles and falls. Point Hawaii. Well, he hits it so hard that if he can just hit that tape, it's gonna roll over a lot. That actually, uh, most people, you know, the setter obviously has a shot to get it, but the middle blocker who's along the net, if it's in area three or four, usually needs to pick up that ball trickles over the net like that. Well, it hit the front of the tape below the rope and somehow trickled hit over. It so hard. <laughs> 18 serving at 21, then back to serve after his first ace of the night. And he goes down the line towards Hanno overpass and make that ace number two on the night for Thim. That thing had to be over 75 miles per hour as coach David Nippon takes a timeout after the run by Keone Thim of Hawaii. Irvine leading 21-19. What's Coach Charlie Wade telling us guys at this point? Well, he's saying we've got the momentum. We've, been, we've built this, we're, we're moving right now. We're gaining on them. They've let up and maybe they won't be able to step it up. Irvine's made two or three mistakes here. It hadn't capitalized on points in the last four or five rallies. And that's now starting to haunt them. The brakes are going Hawaii's way. So Irvine's gonna have to make a good stand here to, to stop it and, and get themselves uh, back, in the, back into winning this match. Well, you can see the momentum shifting back towards Hawaii's way here in set number three. Yep. That's a do or die. They lose, it's end of the night. Well, it, it's almost like they're not, they're playing hard obviously, but they're not playing with that as much intensity, but Irvine isn't playing with intensity. They're kind of like, but it should be over. Well, it's not over, as we all know. We've seen those matches slip away just like this. Yeah, just, just ask McKendry last night against Ohio State. Up two, nothing. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> reverse sweep? Yeah, reverse sweep. Wow. Well, one of the uh, big athletes that's come back into play is Jacob Pasture of Ohio State, who's been out from injury. And obviously, Ohio State needs him in the lineup. And he's the other one that hit the 80 mile per hour serve earlier this year. I think that's all myth. <laughs> kind of like the Loch Ness Monster, huh, yes, Charlie? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it happen, so. 19 serving at 21, you'll appreciate this. The guy who passed the ball from Damon, he said, I can confirm his 80 miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Sheward on the set out to Hanno. Hanno winds up and swings and does his thing. Point going to Irvine, 22 serving to 19. That is what you like to see in a leader, Rob. You're losing the momentum, he goes, give me the ball, he puts it away emphatically, says, let's go. 
Good serve by Sheward. Perfect pass. Rosenthal to Galloway. Tip. Saved by Sheward. Picked up by Campbell. Hanno off the block. Covered by Darcy. Sheward looks back out to Hanno. Looks for the hands. Gets the hands. Using, abusing, and leaving them confused. Chess and checkers. <laughs> I'm still playing shoots and ladders, Charlie. Uh, I think I can count to three. That's how many contacts you get on the side? Yeah, I think so. 23 serve to 19, Sheward back to serve. Sheward goes to an off-speed jump serve, pass by Thim, back to Ta uh, correction to Oj, who blasts it down the line. Again, you know, Heno is, he needs to get in front of uh, a Voss. They're trying to slow Voss down, and uh, that leaves the back set wide open. The 6-8 opposite hitter from Bursa, Turkey, gets on the board and checking in for the first time is Kai Taylor, the 6-2 serving specialist right out of Costa Mesa, California, in Capital Valley Christian School. Misses wide, and that brings us to match point Irvine, serving to 20. Rob, Kai Taylor has played for my club since he was 11 years <laughs> old. Known Kai for a long time. And a wonderful human being, met great, dad at great, Long Beach State, and great, you know, man. Good, great friendly family. Actually a cousin of Josh Taylor, who was uh, a great Pepperdine. player <laughs> at Pepperdine, yeah, from Punahou. Hanno off speed, pass by Thim. Rose is on the shoot to Neustra, and Neustra unleashes the beast within. Neustra, Neustra went to the gap, hit the gap, and Campbell didn't make the slide over in front of the gap. Campbell's he, there frozen watching the ball and didn't watch the hitter. 21 serving to match point number two. Oj back to serve for Hawaii. Goes over towards power. Sheward looks to Hanno on the 40. Signed, sealed, and delivered for point, set, and match as a UC Irvine defeats the fourth rank Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. Three sets to zero. 25-20, 25-19, 25-21. Charlie, curious at your thoughts at this 3-0 uh, win by UC Irvine. Well, I think that Irvine uh, really came out with intensity to play. Hawaii is still trying to get their lineup intact that they need. I don't know if they uh, were expecting the on onslaught that, that Irvine threw out. And the third out outstanding uh, pin hitter Irvine has has really changed their complexion a lot there's no weakness in their attack um, but I do know Charlie Wade coach teams will be back tomorrow uh, they'll be back better tomorrow than they were tonight and they'll make a bunch of adjustments well great call by Charlie but I need to point out leading the way for UC Irvine Halir Hanno 20 kills one error hitting 679 with an ace six digs and two block assists talk about Hanno's performance he has, uh, it's just amazing. You know, we watch him every week and he just, he gets better every single week uh, by making the adjustments and the, that need to be made. Um, it, it's his, he's just got, his mind is so beyond. Of course, he grew up in a family that was, you know, his dad was a tremendous uh, libero in France for famous libero in France. So he grew up with that talk at the dinner table. <laughs> well, with the win, UC Irvine goes to 17 and 7, 6 and 1 in the Big West Conference, while Hawaii goes to 20 and 5, 3 and 4 in the Big West Conference. So for Charlie Brand and our ESPN Plus crew, I'm Rob Sparrow from the Brenda Ben Center at UC Irvine, where UC Irvine defeats Hawaii three sets to zero. All games are streaming live and archived on ESPN. This has been a presentation of ESPN.